History of Trachoma Trachoma has been blinding humans as far back as the Ice Age, but it wasn't until the 20th century that it could be treated. Footprints of this blinding disease can be found throughout history. This portrait was found in an Egyptian tomb in AD 190 to 210. The cut on the man's eyelid is believed to be from trachoma surgery. St. Francis of Assisi had trachoma and was blind when he died in 1226. His blindness became part of the legends surrounding him. The disease spread in Europe in the 1800s when soldiers fighting in the Napoleonic Wars brought the infection from the Middle East. By the late 19th century, the disease had spread to the United States of America. The so-called trachoma belts, where the disease was most common, stretched from Virginia to Oklahoma. Immigrants arriving in the United States of America via Ellis Island in the 1900s were checked for the disease. Former President Jimmy Carter can recall the threat of trachoma in rural Georgia, where he grew up in the 1920s. In the 1930s, Dr. Tan Fei Fan used chicken eggs to identify the bacteria that caused trachoma, enabling it to be treated with antibiotics. Today, surgery, antibiotics, and good hygiene are used to stop trachoma spreading. In 2018, Ghana became the first country in Sub-Saharan Africa to eliminate trachoma, and in 2021, trachoma was eliminated in the Gambia, proving it is possible that we will see trachoma eliminated in our lifetime. Trachoma has been blinding people for thousands of years. But finally, the end is in sight. To learn more, visit www.sitesavers.org forward slash history of trachoma.